feed. And let's check if the stories make headlines at this hour. Now let's head over to Mallory with a final check of that forecast. Thanks, guys. We are looking at our temperatures this morning. We've got Greencastle sitting here at 59 degrees. Crawfordsville is at 56. The rest of us, however, are in the low to mid 60s across the valley. We're quite a bit warmer than we were at this point yesterday morning here in Terre Haute. We're about 12 degrees warmer, and in Robinson, they are about 16 degrees warmer. And these warmer temperatures, though, are going to be short-lived as we're looking at a cool down again next week. Taking a look at what we are tracking, we are tracking that rain for today. We've got a dry weekend in store. We're looking at the possibility of some rain moving in on Tuesday, and then we are looking at a return to those 70 degree high temperatures. Here in Terre Haute right now, the temperature is sitting at 64 degrees. We've got a breeze out of the northeast at six miles an hour, and that temperature or that pressure is at 30.15 and on the rise. Here is a look at our Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. We are beginning to see these showers kind of move their way out to the north. The system is moving from the south to the north. So so much of the valley off to the east here is not receiving anything but much more than a sprinkle through this system. Taking a look at our future cast here, we're going to continue to track these showers through the morning hours. And as we go to the afternoon, it's going to become more scattered. Could see a pop-up thunderstorm or two, just some rumbles of thunder and some heavier pockets of rain is all we're talking uh, with these thunderstorms. Going into the overnight, though, that rain will all move out and then we will be free and clear of rain Friday and into the weekend. Here is a look at our seven day precipitation forecast. Again, we are clear through the weekend. Saturday and Sunday look to be a beautiful weekend. And then as we move into the start of next week, we're tracking these two systems that are kind of battling it out for rain over our area. We've got a system here off to the west. This is what would bring us some rain Monday into Tuesday. And then we have a system off to the east. This is affecting the east coast. This system will not affect us, but it could prevent this front from the west making it our area to our area so if that system off to the east remains as strong as what it is, the uh, models are saying it will prevent the system moving in from the west to from making it to our area and it will just kind of fizzle out but if it weakens off to the east then we could still see some rain Monday night into Tuesday taking a look here at our high temperatures for today we'll see a high of 77 degrees we've got that rain here in the morning those will become scattered this afternoon Afternoon, and again, a chance of a pop-up thunderstorm here and there. As we go into the overnight hours tonight, we will see those temperatures drop to 59 degrees. Clouds early, and those will begin to clear out a little bit as we go through the overnight hours. Into the day tomorrow, we'll see partly cloudy skies and a high of 83. For your weekend, Saturday is the first official day of fall, so it looks to be a beautiful fall day. Sunny skies with a high of 83 degrees. Sunday, mostly cloudy, and those temperatures begin to fall again on Sunday with a high of 77, we continue to see those mid 70 degree temperatures all week next week, and those overnight lows begin to cool back off again. Very fall like. Yeah, it feels.